What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to create a sketch illustration of Michael Myers from Halloween Ends. Now for today's lesson, I'll be sketching with this black 4B pencil. Let's start at the very top of our page and sketch a circle to define the size of the head. So we'll start at the very top in the middle. It's gonna work our way around the left side, just using these short choppy lines. Just going back and just readjusting the shape of our circle. Now with our circle in place, let's add a set of guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're going to start with a straight line coming down the center. So we'll start at the very top of our circle. Sketch that line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Let's add another line on the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, coming down, and do the same thing on the right. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle, going out towards the left and right side. Now we're gonna tilt the head forward so the eyes are gonna sit along the bottom of our circle. So from the bottom, we're gonna step up, sketch another line going across the top of the eyes toward the left and right side. Now we're gonna locate the inside edge of the eyes, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go over towards the left, sketch a line coming down. Take that same distance over towards the right. Now we're gonna round out the top edge of the eyelid. Start from this line, curve in and bend that down. And then going back up to the top, it's gonna to bend the eye going out and then down towards the sides. Let's round out the bottom of the eye. I'm gonna come down toward the bottom line. I'm just gonna curve this up in an angle towards the inside of the eye. Now from that top corner, we're just gonna bend the brow going in and then up towards the inside with a short line. Now that we have the eyes in place, let's move down in the center and draw in the nose. We're gonna start right here, sketch a circle with the tip of the nose. And then from the bottom edge, draw a short line going out towards the nostrils. Curve this around and just bend that in. From the bottom edge of the nose, let's step down, just draw a straight line going across the mouth from left to right. Now to define the width of the mouth, we're gonna go underneath the eyes in the center, sketch a line coming down on both sides. Now I'm gonna go back to the center and add some shape to the upper lip. In the center, go up and out towards the left and right, like a V. And we'll angle this down and out towards the corners of the mouth. Let's take those same two points, curve the bottom lip, coming down and then back up. Now from the bottom lip, we're gonna step all the way down and just mark off the chin with a straight line. Let's angle the side of the head coming in towards the jaw. From this point, just gonna pull this down and then in towards that mouth line. And we'll bend the chin coming down and then in towards that bottom line. Now you wanna place the ears on the side of the head. From this top line, draw a straight line coming down on both sides. Angle this back down and in towards the side of the head. Let's place the edge of the hairline inside that circle. Starting over on the left, bend this up, go all the way across, and then back down towards the right side of our circle. Let's go back to the earlobes, draw the side of the neck, coming straight down on either side. Now right where that chin line meets the neck, I'm just gonna angle the shoulders, coming down and out. Once we have a rough sketch in place, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're gonna go back with the tip of our pencil and start adding some detail and shape to the eyes. Let's start with the left side. And bend this around and up. And bring that down toward the inside. We can also add a few cracks along the way. Now we 
and go back and darken up the inside of the eyes. I'm just going to lightly trace out the brow, going across the top of the eye, and then in. Now with the eyes in place, we're going to go back to the side edge of our pencil and start adding some shadows. Just working our way around and coming down the edge of the nose bridge. Just bringing that shading down towards the nostrils. down and start adding some detail and shape to the nose. Adding some shadows across the bottom. I'm just going to go a little bit heavier with the shadow on the left side. some cracks and wrinkles. Starting up the upper lip and just fade that out towards the right. I'm also going to add some wrinkles across the top of the mouth. Now we're going to move out and start adding some shape to the cheekbones.
I'm just going to add that scarring on the right side of the head, starting around the mouth. Some darker spots along the inside. Now, adding a shadow on the left side of the head, I'm just going to bring this in towards the face and just define the cheekbones. Now I'm going to darken up that scar on the right side of the face, going around the eyes, towards the cheekbones. And some shadows on the side. Add those spots inside that burn mark. I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more shape to the left ear. And the right ear is all burnt up, so we're just going to break this off and shave that in. Adding some cracks across the brow.
I'm going to lightly shade in the top of the head with an even shade in the side of our pencil. carry that shadow on the left side going up. Continue that burn across the right side of the head. I'll just darken this up. Just roughly going in, we'll add the details after. more cracks and wrinkles. Now with the hair, I'm just going to use the side edge of our pencil and just sweep the hair over towards the left side. So we'll start by adding in some volume and texture. And then just bring that down towards the left side. And darken up the front edge. This stage, we just want to get the right shape. Just bring the hair down towards the ear. I'm just going to feather the hair out towards the ends. Now we're just going to work our way across towards the right.
Let's darken up the neck. I'm going to cast that shadow towards the left side. So adding a dark shadow underneath the head. And I'll blend that over towards the right. I'm just going to darken up the collar and blend that out. Tip our pencil, just add a little bit more texture and fine detail to the hair. Now as we get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and contrast, and always be sure to sign our artwork. And there we have it, there's a sketch illustration of Michael Myers. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.